here, buddy. Just for some laughs, I'll do a video of installing Windows XP in late 2014. Doing this in a virtual machine with its uh, main partition rooted on a solid state drive in the Mid-Tower Lux. And doing this Windows XP install for a, um, a nice little throwback video. We'll be demonstrating the Windows, let's see, the Vista Transformation Pack. That was a hot item back in 2007, 2008. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And pull up Oracle VM VirtualBox. Yeah, blah, blah, yeah, Windows are free version out. Create a new machine. Windows XP. I kind of prefer to have 512 megabytes of RAM on this virtual machine. It's a good number for Windows XP. Let's see, I'll create Drive Now, Virtual Hard Disk, Dynamic. I'm going to set the size for 20 gigabytes. Well, it's dynamic, so it shouldn't have been a big deal. Let's go ahead and start it. And locate my Windows XP installer. XP Home Service Pack 2. Now, let's go ahead and start this bad boy. Install Windows XP in late 2014. Here you go. <laughs> wow, I could just barely complete a yawn before that was done. Yes, we'll agree. Create a partition. Install. Let's do NTFS. Let's see how fast it formats during the, doing the uh, long format. On a solid state disk, 20 gigabyte format, long format. Copy in files. Driver.cab always takes a while. <laughs> it's funny, it says it, this might take several minutes to complete. <laughs> yeah. Back in 2003, it probably would have. I mean, we won't see full-blown SSD performance because we're on a virtual machine, but hey, pretty good, pretty good um, comparison, I'd say. We're just now going on four and a half minutes now. Let's go ahead and restart. Restarting the computer. Don't want to be off the CD. I'll be honest with you guys, it's funny, it's funny to look at this marketing of Windows XP. You know how great it is. You know, it's such a new operating system, so wonderful. <laughs> a whopping 13 years after it came out. Installing devices. 
<laughs> look here it says setup will complete in approximately 37 minutes that was probably one of the most inaccurate things of the setup um, utility of Windows XP so glad they ditched that timer on Windows Vista it was really a waste of space it was never accurate Now, keep in mind, generally when you compare Windows Vista 7 or 8 to Windows XP, you know, Vista and later install much quicker than XP. So, when you look how fast this installs, this thing is really doing something. Enter the product key. Another thing that's funny about Windows XP is the, uh, the generic computer name it comes up with. Like, I want to try to memorize all this crap when, you know, doing a, um, looking at the machine on the network. Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Windows XP VM. Set the time. It never made any sense at all to put this in the middle of an installer. I'm so glad they fixed this in Windows Vista. Installing network. Next. We're at just about eight minutes now. Now, in regards to the files, the installer CD is not pulling off a CD, it's actually pulling it off of my RAID stripe. It's not pulling the installer off of a solid state disk. But the root drive on this is based on a solid state. This is on my 240. I put on my virtual machine partitions on that one. Installing start menu items. Registering. I tell you guys, it's just installing Windows XP is like a throwback. I mean, this is the OS I, you know, learned upon back when I started working on computers back in 2005, 2006. Windows XP was the big dog. I guess until what 2008 or 2009. Let's see. Um, in late 2008 is when I started working with Vista. I installed it to the Mid-Tower Deluxe back in early 2009 and used that till um, January 2010 and that's when I moved to Windows 7 and I've been on Windows 7 for over four years. The installer is down to nine minutes and we're nine, a little over nine and a half minutes into the video. I'll be honest, um, it's funny, you know, how light Windows XP is. It amazes me just how long it takes to install. It's like I mentioned prior, Vista 7 and, you know, Windows 8 install so much faster. They move all the, you know, like typing product keys and setting your date and time and 
all that mess to outside of the install process. It's either before or after, depending on version of Windows. And basically, after you set the hard disk um, configuration, it says that's all the information we need for now, and it does everything on its own. And speaking of which, we are done with Windows XP install in roughly 10 minutes and 33 seconds. Move this up a little bit. There we go. See if we have sound. And that, um, <laughs> you know, that, that famous. Yeah, we do. There it is, guys. Say, so not right now for one of those updates. <laughs> Here. I'm going to skip that. That's... And here we are. So basically, um, within, you know, when, within 12 minutes we have gotten Windows XP installed. Now look at this. How much sense does this make? It says um, September 2014, September 21st, current time zone, Eastern Standard Time. It should be daylight time. Even prior to the 2007 changeover, that um, it would still be daylight time right now. I don't know why it's saying that. So now it's time to go ahead and fetch some files. First, I'm going to go ahead and install the guest add ons. So it says take a tour of Windows XP. To learn about all the exciting new features in XP now, click here. All the exciting new features. Oh, how about all the boring old features? It's gonna restart. Wait on the log on sound. And bam, there it goes. Configure the display settings here. Set 1024 by 768, that should be good enough. Oh, that was walking fast. Turn on clear type. Freaking XP. You always want to be in the stone age, like to use um, the blocky standard type. <laughs> clear type, it was. You know, clear type came out when it's XP, but it was disabled by default. So many people never even knew about it. You always want to have clear type turned on, no matter what kind of display you're using. But anyways, when this XP is now installed, it is Service Pack 2, actually. We need to do updates. But anyways, that was insta installation of Windows XP on a virtual machine on a solid state drive. Took me less than 15 minutes now. Anyways, I had a question or comments. Feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.